Sasagot ulit tayo ng another random post at ito ay galing kay Sir Kevin Ryan Velasco Condes dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Let's read the first problem. The sum of two numbers is 54. The larger number is five times that of the smaller number. Find the product of the two numbers. Let A and B be that two numbers. So A plus B is 54. The larger number is five times that of the smaller number. So let A be the larger number and B be the smaller, smaller number. The larger number is five times that of the smaller number. So this is B. A is our larger number. When we say the larger number is five times that of the smaller number, so smaller number is B five times, so five B. Therefore, A is equals to five B, five times than that of the smaller, five times that of the smaller number. So now, itong si A, it change natin into 5B para maging like terms na sila. Equals 54. Bakit ka mos chine-change natin into 5B? Because A is our larger number and A is equals to 5B. Now, i-add na natin to 5B plus B and that is 6B equals 54. Para makuha natin yung value ni B, i-transfer natin itong si 6. Since si 6 pang multiply sa B, pang divide ngayon siya sa 54. So, B is equals to 54 divided by 6 and that is 9. B is equals to 9. So, this is equals to 9. 5B is 5 times 9. And this is 45. Going back to the question, find the product of the two numbers. 45 times 9 and that is 405. Ito na yung sagot. Kunting double check lang. Sum of two numbers is 54. Kung i-add natin si 45 at saka si 9, that is equals to 54. So, therefore, ang sagot na 405 ay tama. Next, let's read the problem again. Two boxes A and B contain some pens. Box A contained five more pens than box B. When eight pens were transferred from box B to box A, box A had four times as many pens as box B. The question is how many pens were there in box B at first. So, nandiyan na yung A and B. A and B. Box B. Let B be the number of pens inside box B. Box A. Box A contains five more pens than box B. So that means B plus five and that is equals to yung number of pens dito sa box A. So i-equate natin itong dalawa. Ito si box B, box A. When eight pens were transferred from box B, okay, when it is transferred, that means B minus 8. Nakuha na ng 8 pence itong si B ba? Again, B, let B be the number of pence inside box B. So, when 8 pence were transferred from box B, so minus 8, to box A, so si box A plus 8. Box A is 
b plus 5, this one, plus 8. Now, after transferring 8 pence from box B to box A, box A had 4 times as many pence as box B. Bali ito, 4 times as many pence as box B. So, therefore, i-multiply natin ng 4 itong si box B para maging equal siya dito sa box A. Uulitin ko. Box A had 4 times as many pence as box B. So, ito ay equal sa 4 times dito sa B minus A. Kaya, ang i-multiply natin ng 4 ay itong box B para maging equal sa box A. At ito na yung equation sa problem na ito para makuha natin yung B, yung value ni B. Erase muna natin itong, ito, erase muna natin at isolve na natin ito. So, this is 4B. 4 times negative 8, and that is negative 32, equals B. 5 plus 8 equals 13. Now, ipagsama ang mga like terms. 4B, ikip natin dito. Itong si B, since pang adya dyan or positive na B yan, kapag itranspose sa kabila, maging minus B. Then, keep natin si 13. Minus 32, kapag i-transpose sa kabila, maging plus 32. 4B minus B, and that is 3B. Equals 13 plus 32, and that is 45. Ngayon, para ma-isolate itong B, ikip lang natin si B dyan. Since si 3, pang multiply sa B, pang divide ngayon siya sa 45 kapag i-transfer natin yan. So, B is equals to 45 divided by 3 and the answer here is 15. So, therefore, how many pens were there in, the, in box B at first? B, number of pens sa box B. The answer is 15. Let's double check. Kung gusto niyong mag-double check tayo. So, 15 itong box B. Kung 15 ito, yung isa naman ay 20. Kasi 15 plus 5, that is 20. When 8 pence were transferred from box B, ang box B natin ay 15, ang box A ay 20. When 8 pence, so minus 8, were transferred from box B to box A, si box A plus 8. I-solve muna natin. 15 minus, minus 8 equals 7. At ito naman ay 20 plus 8 equals 28. Box A had 4 times as many pence as box B. 28 is 4 times of 7. Therefore, kung i-multiply mo ng 4 itong 7, that is equals to 28. Therefore, ang sagot na 15 sa box B is correct.